hello everyone so this is another video of uh, developmental biology and this video we are going to talk about gametogenesis uh, specifically about the spermatogenesis or the sperm formation right so let's start definition let's start with the definition so the origin and development of gametes is called gametogenesis so as the name suggests gameto means the gametes gametes and genesis means production so production so gametogenesis is the process in which the origin and development of gametes occur it is gametogenesis this may be divided into spermatogenesis and oogenesis right so in males the sperm formation is known as spermatogenesis and oogenesis in females the production of ovules so spermatogenesis deals with the development of male sex cells called sperms right spermatogenesis deals with the production of sperms in the male gonadotestis the oogenesis on the other hand is the development of female sex cells called ova or eggs in the female gonad or ovary so spermatogenesis occurs in the testes is the production of sperms oogenesis is the production of uh, ova or eggs in the ovary so spermatogenesis let's have its spermatogenesis in the adult mammals spermatogenesis is the continuous process which can be divided into two distinct phases and each characterized by specific morphological and biochemical changes of nuclear and cytoplasmic components so uh, spermatogenesis is a continuous process we know unlike uh, it's not like the oogenesis where um, there is a very big uh, gap time gap between the meiosis 1 meiosis 2 right so spermatogenesis on the other hand is a continuous process in the males continuous process in the testes of males where it occurs and uh, due to which specific morphological and biochemical changes occurs of nuclear and cytoplasmic components right so these are the changes that occurs so the two phases include the formation of spermatids mitosis and meiosis and the spermiogenesis so as you can see there are two phases of uh spermatogenesis the formation of spermatids uh, um, and the spermiogenesis so let's start with them the formation of spermatids the first the first process as you know the formation of spermatids this phase of spermatogenesis is further subdivided into three phases so the formation of spermatids is again divided into three phases the first is multiplication phase in this phase it is also known as proliferation and renewal spermato of spermatogonia so what happens during the multiplication phase is that the the spermatogonia the the spermatogonia right the spermatogonia divide in further cells into further cells and form more spermatogonia so this is the multiplication phase these are the spermatogonia stem cells right stem cells so stem cells as we know them stem cells you can study about stem cells in my other videos so the stem cells are capable of dividing themselves into more number of cells of the same type right so if these are stem cell they can divide to form more sp uh, stem cells so that is what happens in in the multiplication phase in the multiplication phase what happens the proliferation and renewal of spermatogonia occurs the spermatogonia again and again divide and redivide by the uh, process of mitosis to form more spermatogonia during this phase the diploid spermatogonia which are situated at the periphery of the seminiferous tubule multiply mitotically to form spermatocytes and also give rise to new spermatogonia stem cells and enter the phase of growth 
so it's easy to understand what is happening is that the spermatogonia as you can see here the spermatogonia the spermatogonia this is the spermatogonia they divide by mitosis to form the primary spermatocyte or they could divide to form more spermatogonia right so this is the multiplication phase where proliferation and renewal of spermatogonia occurs second after the multiplication phase or the proliferation phase they enter into growth phase right so during this phase a limited growth of spermatogonia takes place their volume becomes double and they are now called primary spermatocytes which are still deployed in number now these primary spermatocytes enter into the next phase namely maturation phase so the next phase is growth phase what happens this phase that the spermatogonia after multiplication phase mitotically mitosis occurs in them and they form the primary they form the primary spermatogonia so the the spermatogonia had now entered to form the spi primary spermatocyte sorry they form the primary spermatocytes the spermatogonia now divide mitotically to form primary spermatocytes which are still deployed in number now these primary spermatocyte enter into next phase namely maturation phase so the now the primary spermatocyte will enter the maturation phase in which the meiosis would occur so the third phase is of course maturation phase the primary spermatocyte enter into prophase of meiotic or maturation division meiotic prophase is very complex process characterized by an ordered series of chromosomal rearrangements which are accompanied by molecular changes during meiosis first nuclear dna duplicates each homologous chromosome starts pairing synapsis formation occurs and longitudinally split, splits up into two chromatids both of which remain joined by a common centrosome so maturation phase is the phase where meiosis occurs meiosis occurs in maturation phase so after the uh, the primary spermatocyte actually enters into meiosis the primary spermatocyte matocyte enters into meiosis so what happens in meiosis let's see so uh, there is paternal homologous chromosome and maternal homologous chromosome dna replication occurred and the pairing of homologous chromosome had occurred now so synapses or what you call the synapses formation have occurred now as you can see in this figure they are now stuck together the two homologous pairing had occurred homologous pairs of duplicated chromosomes line up on the spindle and now the spindle formation after the spindle formation each one chromatid of each type go on either side right so here uh, the meiosis one is complete after two the meiotic meiosis two starts where they again divide into two cells each right so meiosis 2 is more like mitosis right while in meiosis 1 there is many um complex process like chiasma formation the dna replication and the the um homologous chromosome pairing all these occurs in the meiosis 1 now by now after chiasma formation mutual exchange of some chromosome material between two sister chromatids had occurred uh, after the formation of homologous pairing now the two chromosomes of each homologous pair migrate towards opposite pole of the primary spermatocyte and so the meiosis is completed now the secondary spermatocyte had been formed right after meiosis this is one after meiosis 1 secondary spermatocyte had formed now which undergoes secondary meiotic division after meiosis 1 secondary spermatocyte had been formed 
and this secondary spermatocyte will go under meiosis two. Two. Which is a simple mitosis and produces four haploid spermatids. These are non-functional male gametes. To become functional spermatozoa, they have to undergo a complex process of cytological and chemical transformation, a process usually referred as to spermiogenesis. Right. So, as you can see, this is um, the general um, process of spermatogenesis. This is a primordial germ cell. They undergo division, mitotic division. They form the primary spermatocyte. Here, this is the primary spermatocyte. Here, um, meiosis 1 occurs. Meiosis 1 occurs. And they form the secondary spermatocyte. And then meiosis 2 occurs. Meiosis 2 occurs in the secondary spermatocyte. And they form 4 spermatids each. Now, they, the spermatids have to undergo sp spermiosis per meiogenesis to form a functional mature sperm spermiogenesis form a functional mature sperm so this shows the general process again there is type 1 spermatogonia at the start which undergoes mitosis mitosis and they can either form again type A spermatogonium or they can form type B spermatogonium. Right. So now this if they form the type B spermatogonium, they undergo a mitosis to form primary spermatocytes. The primary spermatocyte that undergo meiosis 1 to form secondary spermatocyte. The secondary spermatocyte undergoes meiosis 2 process to form spermatids. Now these spermatids undergo spermiogenesis spermiogenesis to form spermatozoa the functional mature sperms the spermatozoa now this process of spermiogenesis let's study about this in detail the changes in the spermatids leading to the formation of spermatozoa constitute the process of spermiogenesis right so spermatozoa are something like these connected cells So spermatozoa, uh, sorry, uh, spermatids are something like these connected cells, haploid connected cells, right? These are spermatids. Now to form mature sperms from this, they have to undergo spermiogenesis. Sperms, to form sperms, they have to undergo spermiogenesis. So in spermiogenesis, um, Uh, there are many kind of uh, um, processes that under, takes place under spermiogenesis, right? So, because the spermatozoa is very active and mobile cell, in order to provide real mobility to it, all the superfluous materials of the developing spermatozoa are to be discarded and highly degree of specialization takes place in the sperm cell through a number of steps. As you can see, these are just joined together round cells and to form functional sperms from these round cells, um, extra cytoplasm need to be removed and many other kind of uh, processes need to be takes place to form a mobile functional sperm. So that occurs under the spermiogenesis. So let's study that in the next slide. Spermiogenesis. The step of spermiogenesis. So what happened in the spermiogenesis? The changes in spermiogenesis include the Golgi apparatus from an acrosomal cap proteolytic enzyme, right? So, as you can see, um, the first step is Golgi apparatus in the spermatozoa or spermatids form an acrosomal cap, forms an acrosomal cap which contains the proteolytic enzyme. Then the nucleus is condensed. Then the centrioles which make the collar around the neck and the microtubules form a flagellum. Then the mitochondria arrange a spiral around the neck. An excess cytoplasm is cast off as a residual body. The cytoplasmic bridges are then broken down and sperm releases from Sertoli cells to life-free in lumen of seminiferous tubules. So let's see this again. 
as you can see in this picture the golgi apparatus is there and it is forming a cap like structure which is called acrosomal cap right so this acrosomal cap or acrosomal vesicle as you can see in this picture the acrosomal vesicle they contain um, your proteolytic enzyme which are important during fertilization so proteolytic enzyme are uh, kept in this acrosomal vesicle right then what happens after the acrosomal cap has been formed nucleus nucleus is condensed nucleus is condensed the next step is of course the centrioles make the collar here the um, collar is being formed then the micro tubules start form the flagellum flagellum is important for you know movement so they are formed by the centrioles an excess cytoplasm is cast off as a residual body the extra the extra cytoplasmic droplet you see because because sperms are very uh, need to be very motile and fast moving creatures so right so for them the extra cytoplasmic droplet is removed and the cytoplasmic bridges till now up till now the spermatids were joined together something like this right they were joined together like this now they are broken down these cytoplasmic bridges between all these spermatids are broken down right so cytoplasmic bridges are broken and sperm released from sertoli cells to lie in the lumen of seminiferous tubules so here you can see clearly in this picture the golgi apparatus is here which forms the acrosomal vesicle the red like structure over the pink so acrosomal vesicle has sta uh, started to form uh, now the micro tubules have started to form the flagellum in the um, uh, for the formation of sperm for their motility and the mitochondria had started arranging themselves in the neck region to form a spiral like structure here you can see more clearly the acrosome the nucleus had been condensed the um, the neck has been formed and the mitochondria has been arranged in spiral structure and excess cytoplasm has been removed and the flagellum has been formed right so now this is a mature sperm where there is head there is the mid piece of the neck and there is a long tail thank you for watching please like and subscribe the channel